today in this episode what i will do is we'll go back to a certain event that marked the last quarter of 1979 remember i used to have two more indian friends in the heroi geology lab at syracuse university these two guys graduated with their msc degree in geology from the iit k and in 1965 and uh, you know when along different routes kancham sri vastava can went back to iit k to do a phd with uh, s v l n rao one of the process whereas uh, swapan ghosh went to presidency college calcutta and was working for a phd with one of those professors in the presidency college calcutta but along the way what swapan did was swapan appeared for a gre and tofl test and because his you know sight was abroad and uh, finally landed in the university of wisconsin in madison whereas gangsham sri vasava followed uh, his path for in quest of a better education or an american education let us say you can decide whether american education is better or uh, as good or as bad as indian education and then landed in the kansas state geological survey under the supervision of professor Daniel Miriam. But then what Chopin did was from Wisconsin, he completed his uh, master's degree in low temperature geochemistry. And then from there, he had to shift to some other university for a PhD program and uh, therefore, or thereby, came down to Syracuse to work with Walter Dean on the freshwater manganese nodules of in the uh, upstate new york in one of those uh, famous lakes whereas whereas that happened in uh, 1971 whereas uh, ganshim she was the one came along with the doctor mariam in mariam in, in uh, the syracuse university as a research assistant to professor mariam so i was the, i joined in 1972 for that is uh, the semester starting september 1972 then what happened was and uh, interestingly swapan graduated you know we were very good friends by the way because we are the only three you know rarely three indians together in one and the same discipline and uh, then uh, you know we had a lot of fun we had a lot of uh, very useful uh, st- learning as well as thinking and finally the part all of us you know went on their own ways so pan goshwin was looking for a job right immediately after his graduation in 1975 a spring and ganshyam srivastava graduated in 1975 fall and luckily landed in a job with the city service oil company whereas ganj swapan did not find any job in the united states or in canada for uh, his uh, ill luck maybe then what happened shop and all of all on a sudden discovered was accepted by the university of shiraz in shiraz iran as a assistant professor in the their geology department shop and uh, you know took off by 1976 uh, i would say spring yes and uh, and down there to work then we had occasionally you know some kind of a contact with a letter or a best wishes or whatever those days communications only through possible only through the letter letters the phone calls are horrible anyway even from uh, us within the us phone call was okay outside of the us you wanted to call outside of north america let me say if you wanted to call someone and then it will be a Korean task and Then uh, toward the end of uh, the fall of uh, 
1976, I graduated, I came back to Kerala and started uh, my career in Kerala University with more vigor and uh, deeper thinking and a uh, lot of effort. Because, you know, it is nothing comparable to anywhere else in the world to work in a university here. The ideal thing when people do is after their higher education abroad, come and sit quiet because, you know, the biggest complaint they will always share with uh, their colleagues and friends in the campus will be that, uh, you know, there is no facility to continue the type of work they were doing during their training in the, the PhD program in the in a university abroad. So, however, for me, it was a different story altogether. That is how I got into what is called the coastal erosion or beach erosion studies or coastal process studies and so on and so forth. Well, anyway, of course, then in 1978, uh, February or so, Center for Earth Science Studies was uh, founded in Trivandrum under the hegemony of uh, Professor C. Karnakaran. I knew Karnakaran sir very well in the sense I, I was the secretary of the Kerala Geoscience and Technology Association, of which he was the president of. And we were meeting uh, frequently, like for example, almost every month at a meeting of the managing committee of the association. So we knew uh, each other. I mean, in the sense, I knew you know, Karnagaran sir quite well. You know, he is a very visionary geologist who was born in India and sat at the hem of the affairs of the geological survey of India. And uh, when we went in there, he had a world vision. That is the importance of the man. You can be anybody, you know, in, but your vision can be very narrow-minded and uh, in, intro, in, inward-looking. It is the exceptional personality of Karnagaran Sir. So that is the only reason that Center for Earth Science Studies was founded in Kerala, in spite of all the financial or budgetary problems of the state government, because he had convinced the state government that such an institute will be of a great uh, advantage to the state, taking into consideration the population density of the state and the processes that happen in the what is called the modern geology or process, process geology area of the state. So naturally, well, it was well received by the society, not by the society, but the government agencies. And uh, Professor Karanagaran started operation of the Center for Earth Science Studies on two or three rented buildings from within in Jawaharnagar. And uh, occasionally, no, not a, there was an occasion in 1979 went to, I had to see him on a special uh, reason because I wanted to f figure out whether I can uh, loan a van and a driver for use in my field loop studies or the beach monitoring program. Uh, Karnagaran sir appreciated the my enthusiasm and determination and quickly agreed to my request and asked uh, Mr. Shamsuddin to accompany to check check out a van and accompany me to the field so that I can discharge my field time series studies without a break. Okay, fine. Then by the second half of uh, December 1979, I get a letter from Sopan Ghosh talking about the problems in Iran with respect to the uh, commotion and strike and uh, uh, in the country against the rule of uh, Shah of Iran, Shah al Alwesi. And this was, Shah was the chief of the country and he had 100% support of the United States administration those days. Not by Pahlavia, whatever. And of course, this man is now dead and gone. He was a cancer patient toward the end of his life and as the chief of the country called Iran. And this disruption in regular life in Iran had made Sopan, Sopan's continuation in Shiraz University very uncertain. 
In fact, he wanted to get out of the country as quickly as possible because according to what he wrote, even an aspirin was not available in the medical store. You know, you, most of us would remember, or at least some of us would remember, that this commotion and strike anti-Iran movement as a national movement was steered by, remotely by, this uh, gentleman called Ayatollah Khomeini. And he was then residing or living in Paris. You know, all said and done, France is a, such a country where all such uh, fugitives, political or whatever, as long as you are not a criminal and if you can convince the French government that you can, you are tortured if you, go, uh, if you went back to your native country, you know, France will give you certainly accommodation. Not only that, it is free accommodation and for such leaders like Ayatollah Ghomeini, you know, 100% security, security personnel, like a security provided to any uh, minister or president in, of France. So with this privilege, Ayatollah Ghomeini was very enthusiastically driving the countries the mind of the country, mind of the people toward what is called a country, a nation, to create a nation which will be based on the Shiite values. So, what has happened in between? Then, you know, toward uh, the end of uh, the 1979, I would say, the American uh, forces escorted uh, the the Mr. Shah, Mr. Shah out of the country and to United States and in fact uh, he had to go directly to the Bethesda Naval Hospital in Maryland for undergoing treatment for his cancer. So then of course there was a gap in the regnum and then there was a ceremonious return of uh, uh, Mr. Ayatollah to back to Iran as the sitting president and the ruling president and the whole country, you know, became what it is now. That was back in, toward the end of 1979 and the early 1980. But then, Chopin wrote me a letter asking me if I can look up a job opportunity or Swapan goes in either in Kerala or anywhere in India, uh, he'll be extremely grateful because he has no job like I had to walk back to in India. And uh, he has a family also by that time. Well, it was a very uh, sad late state of mind Swapan was going through, sad phase of his life he was going through. And then I thought, oh, why not I meet uh, Professor Karmakaran and uh, show this, I mean, talk to him about the content of the letter, about uh, this gentleman looking for a job. And in fact, you know, as far as I am concerned, if I have an idea, I will implement, I will not postpone. That may be good or that may be bad. You know, it is a, only an opinion. For some, some, it may be a good idea, for others, it, for the majority, it will be a bad idea. You know, like something like, you know, acting on impulse. If you are actually a person with a mind to respond, then you will act only quick and not sleep over the, uh, what is called the plan you have it, you have acquired. So, in the evening, I scooted straight to, from the cardiac to my office, Around 4 o'clock, I reached uh, uh, Javarnagar to the office of uh, SES and uh, I parked a scooter, walked in and, uh, you know, you know, some people in the administration who were seated in the ground floor of the building knew me very well, familiar, they were very familiar with me. And, uh, some people saluted, I returned it, then walked up and then went to the Mr. Panikar, who is the secretary of the Professor Karnakaran, the director, and asked that I wanted to see uh, if I can see Professor Seek. Then he, you know, as usual, Karna, this uh, Panikar said, sir, go and see him. No, no, I said, it is unfair, you go and inform him that Trivikram is here. 
Then Panikara stood up and uh, then walked over to the office of Karnakaran sir. And uh, within a minute, Panikara came back and uh, Sir, please go. So when I wa walked in, Karnakaran sir had a big smile in his face and uh, asked me to have a seat. Then I said, Vicky, what brings you over to me today? I said, Sir, there's a very important mission I have in hand now. What is the mission? You want a vehicle for a second field trip? I said, no, sir, this is actually another important thing, but equally important, as important as the uh, my field program. What is this? Then I said, sir, it is uh, regarding a friend of mine who I met in Syracuse. He is a low temperature geochemist. He is a man who had his embassy in from IITK in 1965. Then he went to University of Wisconsin, Madison. And thereafter he joined uh, Syracuse one year before I joined. Completed a low temper, low te completed a PhD uh, on the um, freshwater manganese nodules from one of the lakes in uh, Syracuse, North Syracuse, and uh, so on and so forth. Currently he is in, uh, working in a job as a system browser in the University of Shiraz, Shiraz, Iran. And uh, you, sir, you know what is happening now in Iran. It is a total commotion. Swapan has his wife also. And, and you cannot, according to Swapan, it, it is impossible to get even crocin or aspirin in the local medical shop such a, dire straits he is in he of course gets his salary but everything every day is an uncertain day a day filled with uncertainty so he's asking me if i can find a job for him in, in kerala then karnagarana sir looked at me very at my eyes and asked Re you really mean that uh, he's uh, smart enough uh, to work for us yes. I said, sir, he is 100 times better than me intellectually and uh, in his uh, disposition to go to science. And he is an extremely knowledgeable person. You know, I will not say I am equal to Chopin. I am equal to actually what is called a one ton of Chopin. Then, you know, in that case, why don't you ask him to send a CV? I thanked uh, so, Karnayan, sir. You know, profusely in my mind, and said, Sir, I will do that. So it was like uh, last uh, in the month of December, and in January, I mean, I mean, what I did, I went a straight a scooter straight to the general post office to buy a what is called an aerogram. What is an aerogram is a in, inland letter, inland letter in a letter paper in the inland like format, but which is used for international communication. So it was only two or three rupees, whereas the inland letter is only 10, 15 or 20 paisa. So I purchased one, wrote, uh, because I had uh, the Swapan's letter and his address on hand ready. So I wrote a detailed, not a detailed letter, a short letter asking Swapan to send his CV to me as soon as possible. So that is one thing that happened, but unfortunately, the postal delay had uh, made Schwappen to reply to my letter only by the end of February 1980. So the moment I got this CV, his CV in an envelope, I, 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 as I glanced through it, that's all. Because you know, I know Schwappen has uh, scholarship and uh, academic achievements. So again, you know, another trip to see Karnakaran sir, to Jawahar Nagar and uh, in the SES director's office. I went in there, you know, and saluted uh, the administrative staff. Then I inquired if Karnakaran sir was available. Yes, and people said, yes, he's upstairs. So then I went again, met uh, Mr. Panikir, director's secretary, and wanted Panikir to inform Karnagaran sir that uh, I am here to see you. So what I did, I waited in a, a couple of minutes, Panikir came back and said, sir, you can go in. And of course uh, I went in, and then Karnagaran sir again asked, yes, now what, what is the issue that you have uh, before me? I said, sir, I got a swap and gorgeous, uh, what is called a CV. Now you can peruse it. 
and uh, you know act on it whichever way you want to act and i handed over the six page cv very well uh, you know written up and we had to process can i sir quickly glance through the key points and then ask the uh, panikir to come in and gave this cv to panikir now this was actually followed by a question from karnagar sir hey vicky don't you want to give company to your uh, gosh your friend i said sir i am in trivandrum and so company is also coming back if you appoint them he will be in trivandrum i guess and uh, we will always be keeping our company with each other no 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 that is not what i meant what i meant is some kind of a academic company companionship camaraderie well i did not in- immediately catch the meaning but what he meant was if i were able to i am prepared to join us i will be also accepted i said sir uh, then i said with a big uh, smile i said if you give me a chance yes i will be there and there i parted that's it for now today